If you've been toying with the idea of buying a home or are already in the process of shopping for a home, it's always good to know what to prepare so you can show up as the best candidate for your dream home and beat out all the other buyers. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. In New York, it's a seller's market. Buyers are out, interest rates are low, but inventory is also low. So the competition is real and you're going to need to stand out from the crowd. How do you do that, you ask? Today, I'll share with you the top three things to have ready when you're home shopping and want to impress the seller and be the one who wins the bid. The first important document you'll need is your pre-approval letter. If you're taking out a mortgage, the first step, even before you go shopping, is to speak to a lender. They'll review your finances and determine how much they'll lend you. This is a very important step since you want to be sure you know exactly what your budget is before you start shopping. The worst scenario is that you find the home you love and then are informed that you don't qualify for the loan or someone else with a pre-approval letter wins the bid. We don't want that, so get your pre-approval ASAP. The second thing you want to have ready is cash. Besides a down payment and closing costs, there's usually one financial requirement that co-ops in New York City look for and most buyers don't know about. It's called the post-closing liquidity. After you pay for your home and closing costs, most co-ops will require that you have cash in your bank account equaling anywhere from 12 to 24 times your monthly expenses. That's why it's never too early to start prepping and saving for your home purchase. Now here's one tip within a tip. If you're self-employed and you're looking to purchase a home in the next year or two, deduct less expenses to show as much cash as possible on your tax return. The third thing you'll want to have prepared for a strong offer is your completed financial statement. This sheet shows your financial picture, including your income and expenses, so that a seller can easily see you're a qualified buyer and you'll be eligible to pass the board application process. If you're not comfortable with these numbers, I'm happy to help. That's what I'm here for. And here's the bonus tip. Be sure you have your dream team behind you, your real estate agent, your lender, and real estate attorney, because in New York, a real estate attorney is required. Your dream team will advise you every step of the way and communicate with each other to make sure your real estate purchase goes as quickly and smoothly as possible. You're buying your dream home, so that warrants a dream team, right? So there you have it, the top three tips on how to prepare for your home purchase. I've simplified things a bit for the sake of the video, so please reach out directly if you have any questions. Did you like this video? Please share with your friends, subscribe, or leave a comment or question below. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. And tune in next month for more feng shui real estate tips.